Many people in life have gone through identity crises at one point in their life or another. Not everyone goes through this. But as observant as I am, I have noticed one thing. There is one very specific pattern to those who do go through it. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Now before I begin talking about what I just brought up, I do want to point out one thing that I really should admit. I talk about psychological topics like this a lot, and I claim to know a lot about psychology. However, depending on how you take my claim will depend on whether it's actually accurate or not. I do know quite a bit because I've been stuck in the field of neurology my whole life, pretty much because of my circumstances that, if you watched a video, a few videos previous from now, you'll see what I mean. Or, the fact that I have taken a psychology class. Now, it was just basic psychology, so... It is not all... It's not very much as far as class goes. However, there's one thing that needs to be pointed out as a final thing before we get started. Take what I say with a grain of salt because psychology, regardless of what you know, admits one thing. Everybody is different. So regardless of what I say in this video, keep in mind that just because I'm saying what I am doesn't particularly mean that the way I phrase it, if I phrase it in a way that seems off to you guys, that doesn't particularly mean the way I phrase it will apply in exactly that way to anybody else. It's just the way that I interpret things. That being said, let's get back to the topic at hand. Identity crises have been a big problem that I've noticed in people that I've come across. Maybe it's just my rotten luck of meeting people who go through them. Sometimes I can help, sometimes I can't. But... Why does it happen? Well... There's a pattern I've noticed. Every individual who I've met who has gone through an identity crisis... was either raised by people who didn't really truly care about them or was on their own without any kind of peer to support them, to comfort them. When something like this happens, someone doesn't particularly realize or know who they actually are in here. Now, again, as I said before, this is based off observation, which means, take it with a grain of salt, what I'm saying doesn't particularly always apply to you. It does apply to a lot of people I've met. Doesn't mean it applies to everyone. There are those lucky few. When they don't go through an identity crisis, this is the thing I've noticed. Those who don't go through it, all of them have one thing in common. someone to turn to who truly cares about the person. Now the defining matter of this really go, comes down to one particular detail that regardless of the person applies. And it is another psychology thing. I don't remember all the phases. I don't remember the exact name of them, but there are phases with each portion of life as you're growing up that end up defining how you respond to certain aspects of your life. For example, as a baby, the way a parent treats you as a baby or a guardian treats you will determine whether the baby is willing to rely 
are the parents or guardian or not. It was either that or that's the toddler phase. But regardless, when it comes down to it, identity can get lost if the chosen path or the determined path, not chosen, but determined path ends up being, you know, unreliability on how they were raised. Anytime a child is ever abused as a kid, adult reliability is gone. And they feel like they have to fend for themselves. They're afraid of the world. This is a pattern I've noticed in a lot of people I know. But pushing forward something like this can be very frightening for people like that. And it's sad to watch. Those who end up having someone, at least one person, to always turn to, whether a peer, a parent, or a guardian, at least one person to turn to, to cry on their shoulder over while they're not in a relationship or a marriage. Well, those are the kind of people that help guide you to help you find your own identity. A friend. There's a reason a lot of people say, not everyone, but a lot of people say that a true family is a friend. It's because they're there to help support you. Somebody I was watching in a video, make in a video that they made, um, which is going to re remain confidential at their request, mentioned this that this particular person probably wouldn't know who they are if it wasn't for the one friend they had growing up. It's kind of upsetting when people have to go through stuff like that. When people have to go through identity crisis because they have no one to turn to. It's just sad to me. Generally, from what I've noticed, I'm not saying this is everyone. In fact, I'm almost guaranteeing it probably isn't. But I've seen a lot of people who do go through identity crisis, crises, to, they have a tendency to lash out at others who know what they are, who they are, what they're going to be, what path they're going down. Those who don't lash out at others who do. Makes me feel bad for those who don't know what they're doing, don't know what they need. It's saddening. Regardless, though, it is the case. Identity crisis has become a really big problem. Ever since the first one I heard about, which I believe was Miley Cyrus, and her identity crisis, and I think this was like between the whole Hannah Montana phase and the Wrecking Ball song phase, whatever was between that. She came out of it and she was a happy person, from what I understand. She knew who she was and she was much happier. She changed a lot about herself, yes, but at least she was happy with who she was. She knew what she was, she had support, that's really all that matters. I mean, personally, I don't like listening to the music she currently makes, but I do still support the fact that she knows who she is and what she wants. I support her still. Just because I don't listen to the current music doesn't mean I don't support her. That's, it's, it's a prime example of what I'm talking about. Um, 
I believe there was a point in time where I had to re I reached out to D9 Danny Wilson at a point and he wasn't exactly sure directly what he wasn't who what he was going to do on his platform. He had kind of just started getting the ball rolling with the live streams that he currently does now daily. He was trying to figure some things out. He had really only been doing motivational speaking and beats. Now, he knows exactly where he is, exactly what he wants, exactly what he's aiming for, and he has so much positive support because of it from over 11,000 people. Kudos to you, Danny, for that, by the way. That that kind of identity is there. He knows who he is. And it's great to see people in that mindset. There are many other people I could list, but I think you guys get the point. Identity crisis can be a very damaging thing. It's something I've, for those who don't believe I know anything about psychology, it's something I've observed. But everyone's different. As psychology has said, everyone works differently. What I've talked about today, maybe it doesn't apply to some of the viewers that I have out there who might come across this, or maybe it does, I don't know. But the one thing that kind of pinpoints for those who it does apply to, have someone who cares around. A wise woman once told me and a group of people actually at the time, but still me nonetheless. Always have someone who truly loves you around so you know who you are. It was a very smart thing to say. Very wise thing to say. <laughs> then again, in my eyes, women are pretty damn wise. They're pretty smart. This is my own personal opinion though. Some people don't believe it, some people do. But I do agree with that statement that was said. Have someone around who you know cares, who you know you can rely on, who you know who you can help give you an identity that you believe is you. That being said, I'm gonna leave this video here. What did you guys think of this video? Do you agree with what I've had to say today? Um, let me know in the comments below. This was a very deep type of psychological topic. If you guys want to hear anything else, whether it's psychological or philosophical, let me know in the comments below what we do, what you would like to talk about. What my gosh, I could, I really can't speak today. Let me know down there what you guys would like me to talk about. Want to check out anything else that I've discussed on here? Click links on the side of my head, or if you're interested in anything else live that I've done, or the gaming videos that I've done, click the, the link in the description below, along with the other link that's down there if you want to support the channel further, if you already are subbed, or, again, if you haven't checked out the channel yet, you could definitely click the link that's kind of attached to my chin, or below my head, or something like that. For right now, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys once again for watching this video, and I hope to see you all in another one. Bye for now.